ever and a brand new career mode series for FIFA 14 but before I go ahead and announce the team I'm actually going with make sure you drop the video a like let's get to 150 likes will be highly appreciated and I want to say thank you very much for your support and the team we actually decided to go we are in the Italian league and we are going probably one of my favorite teams I've enjoyed watching them obviously You've got a few legend players there um, but the team we actually go in is AS Roma um, obviously with all the transfers going on as well, they got a quality side with Ashley Cole there, iTube as well, and many other players. So this side we're going to be going, this is our new career mode, hopefully you all enjoy it, and like I mentioned, don't forget to drop a video like, make sure you subscribe as well. But let's have a quick look at the team they have got to offer for us. So just before I actually show you the team, we're going to be having the Champions Cup in our actual um, career mode. So. This is our table. We're in Group F. We've got Zenit, we got Chelsea, we got Olympiak, got Zas. They ain't gonna lie. Probably the hardest group I could put myself in. But anyway, let's have a quick look at our team. So this is like Roma have got to offer. They are playing a 4-3-3 false nine. I actually quite like this formation and the fact they've got Totti in that centre forward role will be at amazing. Absolutely quality play. I love Totti. He may be slow, but his passing, his shooting, his free kicks, everything. Is amazing. But anyways, have a look. Mike on. They've also got they got uh, Benata. It's gonna be a lot of interest, I think, in the transfer window with him. And also we got Ashley Cole, the new signing, just joined. Also Daniela De Rossi, uh, Panjik. I think that's pronounced his name. I ain't gonna. We call it, we're gonna call him uh, Raja. We call him Raja. Uh, also Totti, uh, Lajic. Also what's in the team of the year on our team? Javinho. We also, and also let's have a quick look at the bench. Got Marcel Bastos, Strootman, I think is actually going to be one of the main players rather than uh, this guy, actually. Actually, let's change him out. Let's put him there. And now we've got iTube as well. He's one of the new players, so I think we might start him over this guy, in all fairness. I'm tempted. Let me know in the comments below. Should I do it? And also we got Destro as well. And let's have a quick look at our bench. Chelsea, uh, Elmanson, new signing as well for uh, Roma. And this is the rest of the team. So a lot of depth and also from Valencia, Kita, um, good, very good player, 77 rated. And what's his age? I think he's, oh, he's 33. I thought, <laughs> I only just realized who he was. He used to play for Barcelona. I'm sure he used to play for Barcelona. I might be wrong there. Uh, so look, quick, look at the rest of the side. And it, it's a good side. It's a lot of depth as well. And I think we may bring in, in all fairness, I think we might bring in another striker or centre forward. Um... I'm happy with the, the team at the moment, but I think in a centre forward, actually, let, let me just change the side of what I would actually have it. I think we're going to put add to be there. Um, but I'm really thinking a, another striker. But what type of striker are you looking for? I think it's someone like a Giroud or a Geniac. Someone like that. I think I'm about tempted by Geniac. But uh, let's have a quick look. So this is going to be our transfer budget for the year 25 million, 200 and 10 grand to spend. I think we can bring in some very, very good players. We've already got enough depth. So I think we might sell some players. So I'm going to put some players up for sale now. So I'll quick look, look what we can actually do. So I look at the value for players. I'm surprised that iTube's a lot less. He's actually bought for 22 million euros. So now I'm trying to think who we won't actually play. Um, let's do a position wise. I think goalkeepers we're going to need a lever like that. I think we may have to bring in another goalkeeper. I think we will. I'm not sure who we actually uh, will bring in. I've had a bit of a if we start with goalkeeper, especially with PSG, they weren't exactly the best. So we may consider bringing someone else, bringing a start, and, and that's a big, hefty wage off of us as well when he does retire. Um, so goalkeepers, I think, are fine. I think we may get rid of this guy. Actually, yes, we're going to put him actually up for a season-long loan. I see who actually comes in for him. It's not worth selling him. We're going to keep him. We will actually put this guy up for a loan as well. Uh, yeah, we're going to put you up for loan. I think I could just going to try and... Oh, he actually looks like a very, very good player. Um, but we got a lot of depth anyway, so it doesn't matter who we actually sell at the moment. Well, should we go with this guy? I'm not too sure. I think you've only just joined. Uh, no, I think we'll keep him. We'll also keep this guy. he got a bit of pace and looks like he can grow quite a bit. Uh, I think we're going to have to bring in a new right back as well. Uh, my con's good, but obviously I think his rating's going to constantly just go down over time. So we kind of got our replacements there. Um, let's put this guy up on for loan. But I think personally we're going to have to bring in someone else. Uh, Danny Adorossi, also we're going to keep these players. I don't think we're going to change much. I think actually, yeah, we're going to loan you out. Uh, I don't think they will get a loan. That's a problem. I, I have a little bit of a problem with it. I don't think they will actually go out on loan because 
they're such a low rated players, I don't think they will. But uh, Michel Bastos, I very love this player back in like FIFA 12, FIFA 11. Amazing. Um, don't, I'm not sure who we could sell. There's no players that we need to sell, which is good. Uh, we don't need to sell anyone at all. And I'm pretty happy with that side. But anyway, let's see who we should bring in. And let's put some bids in for some future. Obviously, some of the updates haven't actually happened yet, uh, just so you're all away. So we are going to put a, a bid in for uh, Staden, I think that's how you pronounce it. So what we're going to do, we put an inquiry in, see how much they want for him. But I think he's going to be a quality player for us. Um, he's a good goalkeeper. A lot of you guys actually suggest him. So I think he's going to do well for us. Hopefully we can sign him, but we need to so see So to some, this may be a very, very random signing. But I quite like Geniac. I think he's a good player. So I'm going to actually put a bid in for him. He's 6'1", 27 years old. Striker. And I think we can easily sign him. He's going to be rather, rather cheap. He's 5 million, 80 grand wage. So we got a big wage on him. So I think we might be getting lower. We're saying 6 million, something like that. So what we're going to do, we're going to go in with 4 million. Actually, we can't insult him. 4.5 million bid just to see what actually happens with the So we're right back. We're going to be bringing in, hopefully, we're going to put a bid in for him. It's Montayo. Um, no real news about him. We don't know how much he costs. It's um, He does have a little bit left on his contract. So it be interesting to find out. But we're putting an inquiry in about him. Hopefully, we can get him into our side to kind of back up for Mike on and then we're slowly um, getting, uh, well, slowly integrate him into the team and uh, further on, hopefully we can have a first team. So we did get some email bats, so then 19 million, that is a big, big offer and I'm not going for 19, I'm generally going to try a 10 million bid to see what actually happens. And also for Montoya, Montoya, 10 million. That's quite an hefty uh, price tag. Don't think I'm going to go for 10. We're going to try a 5 on him for the side. He's a young player. He's a sporting player. He doesn't even play. He does have five years left on his contract, though. We want to be taking part. We want to get to the semi final. Wow, the Champions Cup. Domestic ball. They want us to win the cup. Wow, this is quite high. I ain't going to lie. Jesus Christ. Uh, league objective. Um, try and win the title. That is very, very interesting. A very so one offer has finally come in for Geniac. Yes, yeah, a 4.5 million offer. He wants 80 grand wage. That's a big, hefty budget. We're going to give it like 10%. And the thing is, he's going to be an important first team player. I need to give him that because there are other players that are better. And sometimes he may not do well. But I think he'll do well for us. And he will become starting starting But I'm going to put him as important. So our 5 million offer has also been a set there for Montoyo. Uh, four years. He will... Become an important first team player. Hopefully that is actually good enough for him. And also we got a received a counter offer by lots of things. They want 14 million. That's a bit of a hefty price tag for him. And we're gonna try we're gonna try 12. See what we can actually do there. So I'm not too sure if the bids. I'm I'm, I'm working out the final, but we um our actual price tag. But uh, by lots of things, we're gonna be signing the three players that we mainly want. Into the side. Geniac has been accepted. He's coming into the side. There he is, our first signing for Roma. A very good signing. One of my favorite players. I've loved him. <laughs> We're going to offer come in for one, one, actually one of the last players I thought someone would have come in for. But they did offer us 10. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to do very, very cheeky. And I'm actually going to say 20 million and see what they actually do with it, in all fairness. Um, but also, we got uh, Montoya. Ha Whoa, glitching up there. Montoya has accepted the offer, so he's coming into the side. And that is, that we've actually got enough, hopefully, to sign. And that's actually been accepted. There it is. 12 million for him. He has been accepted, but he wants 90 grand wage. Don't think we can actually afford that. We're going to have to get a few players off our books, in all fairness. But anyway, hopefully we can sign him in for 70 grand wage. He's a good player, but I don't know if I can actually sign him for 90,000. New signing comes in. Who is it? Montoya is actually in to our side. Let's have a quick look before. Obviously, a few offers coming in for loans and stuff like that. So, we do accept him. Our centre back, 17 years old. And also, this guy. Oh, they've offered 17 million. Okay, I'm going to say again. I'm going to say if you give me 20 million, you can actually have him. And then we can actually bring in another centre back ourselves. Wow, it's 20. going on. 
AS Monaco, they've offered 70. Honestly, we just seen that. And there we go. He's accepted the 70 grand wage. We do accept him. He comes into the side. Our new sign and new goalkeeper. We're actually doing pretty well. This first time I've actually, stuff, I've actually gone smoothly, let's just say. A new sign. He's actually going to become a first choice goalkeeper. Um, in all fairness. Also, we've got friendly supplier and stuff like that. I just have to just find him for a second. There he is. He's 82 rated. He goes straight in the side. And we're going to put this kind of goalkeeper on the bench. But uh, our starting level is not changing much. Also, we'll find out in the friendlies when we start playing them. But So, AS Monaco aren't actually budging. Uh, they're saying we're going to give you 20 and I'm uh, 17. So, I'm saying 20 million and you can actually have him. It's 20 million or a no-go. In all fairness. Because the thing is, he's a good player. And the thing is, we need to find a replacement. I'm tempted to bring in Menez again. I actually quite like Menez. Not Menez, Mexes. Um, we will see if he actually come in. Transfer offer. Reviewed it. And we do not believe worth our match. Fine. He's not leaving then. Um, we're going to reject that offer. Actually, reject all kind of offers. Because we want him in our side. And uh, we don't, I don't, I'm sure he's only recently joined Roma. So I'm surprised anyone's actually came in for a bid for him. But we got another offer coming in. Ah, that's it. Oh, a lot of loan ones. Okay, guys, that is the end of episode one of my Roma career. I want to say thank you very much for joining me. Hopefully, you all enjoy this series. Make sure you drop the video a like. I will get another Roma career mode out as soon as possible. And make sure you suggest some more players. Feel free to do that. We're going to be playing the friendlies next game. We're going to test all the team around, see what team works best before we actually go into the Serie A league. It's going to be very interesting. It's going to be a competitive season. But thank you very much for joining me. And I hope you all enjoy.